number one, U.S.-China getting worse, getting more confrontational, right? And that is, I think, fairly clear. We're getting better at managing the problems as they come up. We are, actually, we, because we understand the importance of the relationship. We are, like with Russia, for example, it's irrelevant, right? I mean, with, with Russia, we can send Mike McFaul as ambassador who is a pro-human rights democracy guy. We would never do that with China because it's too important to screw up. With Russia, we don't care if we offend them, right? That is the reality. And I mean, Romney can say that Russia is the world's, the, the number one geopolitical foe in the world, the United States. He can say that because it's costless to say that. You can't say that about China. That's dangerous. China is, I like to call China the Voldemort of countries. It is the name, the country whose name must not be spoken. That's where we are, right? It's the, it's the Voldemort of countries. We can't say it. Um, I, but, the, but the relationship is getting worse, and it's getting worse on security, and it's getting worse on cyber, and it's getting worse on indigenous innovation. I'll tell you what worries me the most. I got to be on Diane Rehm later today, which is always fun, right? And we're talking about the global uh, slowdown. And she's, she's asking me in the pre-interview, what are you worried about? Is it Europe or the United States? I said, the one I'm most worried about is China. Because China is experiencing the same part of the global slowdown that everyone else is. The Chinese response to that will be, oh my God, we can't export the way we used to, so we must double down on what we can do, which is state capitalism, which puts the Chinese in a much more antagonistic relationship with the US. It would be so much better for us if the Chinese were growing 15% than if they're growing at six. Because at 15%, they can afford to be more flexible. At six, they can't, right? That's, that's bad. It's also better for us if they grow a lot, just economically speaking, but of course, worse for the world from a you know, commodities perspective.